Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I thought I would knock out just a quick webcam video because I, I don't have space all of a sudden to set up my camera just for a little bit this morning. And a bunch of people were asking, hey Jason, you look like you're getting smaller. What's going on? You're, you're just shrinking. You were looking really big for a little while. What happened? Let me make this very, very clear. You guys know I've gone back to cutting. I very recently, I had been cutting on really high carbs, which was allowing me to look a, a little bigger because you guys know I normally eat like seven, 800 grams of carbs a day. It keeps me looking fuller. I am very, very sensitive to carb intake as far as water retention, both intramuscular and subcutaneous. And so for me, when I cut carbs back, I tend to drop water weight. My muscles seem, seem to get smaller, all of that. I just cut my carbs back again recently. I'm back on low carbs for a little while because I've realized I kind of have a lot going on in my life. I can't train quite as hard as I'd like to at the moment. Uh, my lifts are being affected by that slightly. So I said, why don't I go ahead and use that to continue to cut? Because I need to cut a little faster to help with weight classes when I jump back into meets later on. Because I want to compete at the 198. And ideally, I'd like to do it without having to cut a lot of water. I could probably make it now with a big water cut. I would rather just trim the extra fat away and not have to cut a bunch of water and only have to cut a couple pounds, maybe walk around at 200 pounds and then cut down to 197 to make weight in the 198. That would be really easy for me to do. It would be it would be such an easier prep for me to do it that way. And my training would be so much more consistent in the final prep weeks if I just did it that way rather than do the big water cut. So I think for now I'm just using that strategy. The reason I'm looking smaller, my face is even looking more sucked up, is because I'm only eating about 50, 60 grams of carbs every day right now, which makes me drop water weight. It just drops water off of me. And so, yeah, I'm going to look a little smaller as a result of that, but it's okay because in the end it will make me a better athlete because the extra body fat isn't making me stronger and I can be so much more competitive another weight class lighter. The, the lifts that I hit... In my prep and at the, the last meet up to the British, if I could hit those the next weight class down, I would be so much more competitive. I would play so much better. It's really worth it for me as an athlete to do it. And in all honesty, I would probably be healthier if I just walked around 20 pounds lighter. I'm not getting any younger. So for those asking, that's why I'm shrinking down a bit. It, it's purely diet. It's my diet that's causing it. It's going to make me look a bit sucked up for a while, and I just have to live with it. That's the price you pay, fellas, for whatever you do everything we do in training and sports is a compromise somewhere and so i just have to live with it you guys will have to live with me looking smaller for a few months but the end result will be beneficial so it's all worth it all right guys that's really all i have to say on that today i hope it's been informative and i will talk to you guys next time